On the last one, we made ourselves a machete. I mean, look at that bad boy. That's good stuff. And on this one, well, I don't know. <laughs> We're going to go north because as I've been running around trying to find animals because we need a bunch of hides, I inadvertently saw something on the map and I thought, oh, we should go there. We have arrived there. That's literally how far it was to travel. So I should probably tell you where we were. We were right near our farm. It's a week since the last working escape pod left. There is still the one pod left, but we have uninstalled the fuel cells just in case. Do not use the pod. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the crew station. Well, that's very interesting. They uninstalled the fuel cells. Don't use the pod. Why not? That certainly is a, a twist I was not expecting. Anyway, uh, as I was going to say, we're kind of near the farm. This is basically where the wishing well was, where we just started this episode at, which uh, I should probably tell you that I did use again. Happened to have the bones and... Uh, I think it was just bones and plant material was all that was needed. So went ahead and used it. We got a bunch of wood out of that bad boy. And we're going to get a little more right here. So look at that. There's three more. And some scrap wood. And this is why I wanted to come over here, because we have ourselves another tower. So that's going to help us out with, uh, you know, bouncing around and all that sort of jazz. I think at this point we probably just have to head north or east or something, I don't know, wherever the next fuel cell location is. Because we know we have one nearby down here where the mouse, is, uh, mouse cursor is just spinning around like crazy. We know we have one over there, but uh, we do need some hides so we can make a hat so that we can deal with all the heat over there. I'm a little worried about heat stroke or something. That that might be a little too much. Dang, 35. Shoot. I know I'm over here. I'm just hoping that we'll be able to, you know, make a baseball bat today. That's kind of that's kind of my goal. I mean, yes, I will prioritize the bat over the hat, and I'm not going to feel badly about that. Boom. There's your rhyming for a minute. Oh, nice. And we don't have... All right, we'll drop that crap because that's all I care about right now. And then the meat. Um, I guess we could drop the, the scrap fabrics for the meat. Let's see if there's anything around over here that we can... Well, there's a campfire over here, so we do have that one activated. I, I sort of remember getting to that one, and I sort of remember getting to that one, but we never, for whatever reason, ended up over here where... The link tower is. That's kind of funny. Well, we'll just keep going this way then because we can, uh, can't pick those up. Never mind. That was a dumb, dumb. That was a dumb. Okay, let's do that. And then we'll go over here and do that. And I feel kind of bad about this, but, um, you know, it is what it is. We got to murder a bunch of animals. I did say on the last one we'd probably be murdering animals and. Even though I have deep regrets, here we are. You gotta do what you gotta do to survive in the apocalypse or whatever this world is, I don't even know. Okay, let's drop off all that stuff and then let us do some inventing and crafting. So we're just gonna go ahead and craft a baseball bat. And with a little luck, we'll be able to upgrade it. I mean, I don't even know. So we're gonna need three more hides to get the cowboy hat. That's gonna let us go back to Florida. And what does the gyroscope do? I don't even remember. Stabilizes footing during circular movement pattern. So strafing speed. Well, we kind of need the iron to upgrade the cooking pot. So let's just go ahead and upgrade the baseball bat right away. That gets us up to 30 damage. And if we can get some more iron, we can even we can do even more. Um, I guess that means I'm assuming that we can harvest with all the things. Um, Oh gosh, I do kind of like the sickle, just because it can target multiple things. Do we? Can we carry four things yet? Ugh. We need to invent one more thing for for that slot, just to have the spot to craft. I mean, that's kind of all I care about at this point. Um. Okay, that's not what I was expecting that to be. Shoot, I don't think we have... We already have the hoe. I know we have that one. I mean, that's... I guess animal treats are a tool. Uh, sure. Oh, no, we've already 
Dang it, we've already done that one. Okay. Well, I think we gotta wait until like level 17 to, or 20, I guess, to unlock another thing. Cause we got, no, there's, there's one in 17 here. Okay. Well, maybe that'll be another tool, maybe not, whatever. I don't know. It doesn't really matter here. For now, I'm just gonna swap this guy out. I'm a little concerned. The reason I don't necessarily want to drop the crowbar is because it has a higher critical hit multiplier and I need to sneeze. There we go. Yeah, that was a good sneeze right there. So we can still like bash the crap out of things and do that with the baseball bat. We don't have to do that with the crowbar. Okay. I mean, I kind of assumed as much because the scythe has been cutting things down and yada yada yada, but you know, sometimes you just got to make sure because a baseball bat and a scythe are not exactly in the same ballpark. Um, I guess that's a no pun intended, pun intended, pun, no pun, pun, no pun. I don't know, either way, whatever. Here, we'll just go ahead and take a sit right quick just because we did take some damage and we'll call that fine. So I think what we need to do now is maybe head back into maybe this area here. I mean, it'd be really nice to be able to turn on that transmission thing, but we don't have any more boss nuggets, so we couldn't do that if we wanted, really. Um, oh yeah, that's kind of brutal. One, one power club, one power attack with the crowbar is enough to take one of the regular guys out in one swing right now, so... This is kind of rough, but if it allows us to harvest more things, I'm okay with that. That's probably a fair trade because that's kind of been a problem for us is that we're stuck not being able to harvest all the things that we really need to be able to harvest to continue our progression. So I guess we haven't really been through this area. We can just fill in the gap and see if we can find at least the electronic parts that we'll need to be able or uh, shoot here blocked that we'll need to be able to craft the transmission thing. I mean, it's better than nothing here. Let's just for the giggles, let's switch over to this guy and see what this does. It's basically the same. I mean, I don't know, maybe it was like a difference of two points of damage and I guess we probably don't need to worry about it because the machete covers it, but I don't know, whatever. I just want to run around with a baseball bat, okay? Sometimes it's that simple. I was hoping we'd get a recipe there, but that's all right. So this house, it doesn't look like we have anything we need to worry about in here. Cat, I know. Just come over here and park it on my lap. I, she's she's looking to take a sit, but the other one was around, so she's just like, Nyeh. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, I also did not make a point of harvesting everything at the farm, so... We can always head back to the old farmstead and harvest everything over there if we want. I mean, I don't... I guess it, it wouldn't be a bad idea to do that. A lot of materials to be found at the very least, so... You know, there's something to be said for that. Or, I guess, ingredients, not materials, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean, right? You know what I mean, Gene? Look at that. That is lettuce central right there. Okay, yeah, you're gonna do your thing there. But the thing I have learned is that that heavy attack is enough to, to slow him down. So that's kind of good. Could the guy who keeps spilling plum juice all over the hallway please clean up after themselves? Yeah, look at that. It's very purpley in here. So who is doing that? Who is, who's plum guy? And why are, why, what is going on here? What is this place that someone is spilling plum juice somewhere and uh, no one knows who or why. I guess it's like a little B&B &B maybe? Something like that? Can't damage it with this tool. Can we damage it with the baseball bat? Okay. So there is something to be said for having a blunt object and a sharp object so that you can, you know, damage all the things basically. I wasn't entirely sure that'd be the case, but I mean, I guess that Makes sense. I don't know. What are you doing over there? Cat's over there scratching on 
on what she's supposed to scratch. It's weird. Yeah. Okay. I'm not really seeing anything over here, per se. We've already been through here. Did we listen to that one? We've listened to this one in the past. Okay. Because we've been through some of the stuff. This is where the twins were. So we've already murdered them. A good time was had by all. Bridge demolished. Travel to Curtis North through bridge checkpoint new. That maybe rings a bell. I'm not sure. Okay. I mean, I think we've kind of filled in a lot of the stuff over here. So here, let's go ahead and just bash these down. That way we have, well, I was going to say a way to cut through here, but maybe not. There we go. The scythe I would really like to upgrade just because you can do multiple attacks with it, essentially. Hit multiple targets. I mean, come on, what's not to like about that? Um, I'll drop, drop the scrap metal for now so we can grab the onion. That'll be fine. And then here, let's just go ahead and get rid of this guy. We're not going to have room for all the things, and I recognize that. That's fine. Whatever. Okay. Shoot, man. There's just all sorts of stuff around here. Well, here, let's drop this off. And then since everything was right here, I mean, if we were going, like, forever and a day to find all this stuff, I'd be like, eh, I don't care. We can just leave it. But, I mean, since it's literally, like, right here, that's fine. And besides, we got another kitchen over there. And then we've got another one over here. So this is, like, a little, I don't know, apartments, condos, something sort of thing. So take all that. Oh, and then here we go. Let's go ahead and harvest the OTV. It's exactly what I was looking for earlier, because we need all of the electronic parts. So that's good stuff right there. And we can take this back to, I don't even know, where were we taking this crap back to? So right here? It's right here. Okay. Phew. I say I'm getting lost. So um, I guess we'll just keep going this direction, because we do need to find some animals. And... Here, let's see what happens. So, eh, that worked out just fine. Basically, we need to find about, I don't know, three animals, or we just need to say the heck with it and keep going. Well, you know, let's just keep going north. What the heck? We're already over here. We'll just have to keep our eye out for additional animals as we're going north, and I'm okay with that. That's fine. Yeah, let's get rid of you. Ah. Okay. I want to, like, I don't know, move when I'm power attacking or something. And that's just not how this game works. And I don't know why I can't get that through my thick skull. But I just can't. I hear you. Cat's talking. Okay. Not too shabby. We'll take all that stuff. And then I think since we have so much stuff and the campfire is literally right here, we should drop off all this stuff. We're not going to sit. We'll just go ahead and use a bandage, though, to make sure we're in a good spot. And we're just going to keep going this way because we said we we're going to go north. And, well, here we go. We are going north, everyone. We are going north. So we've already been over here. The ruins of Ethelridge. Oh, and we've already been over to that side. That's interesting. So that's where the relay was. So it looks like I'm guessing we would be kind of cutting through, basically just following the street or the path or the whatever. Okay, come on. One at a time, please. Black Ninja style. Never seen a movie that has black ninjas in it, then you don't get the reference. And that is a reference to the ninjas who wear black. And attack one at a time. Because why would you all attack your protagonist at once? That would be silly talk, right? Okay. Oof. Just thought, I better explain that, because if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, that, that might sound kind of bad. Nope. That's not me. Don't say that. Don't think that. So, Ethelridge and Curtisfield South. How you doing? Hmm. 
Mm, do you have any? Any? No. Dang. I was just looking for a campfire or something. Campfire. And I guess I should probably pay attention for televisions too, huh? Here, I'm going to stop and grab some eggs just because. Why not? Hey, don't throw crap at me. That's rude. You bloop. Oh, there is a television right there. Okay. And then we'll just hit the radio and run. These are falsehoods perpetrated by antagonistic forces in our midst. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. I don't think those are falsehoods. I'm pretty sure they're accurate. Actually. Okay, go ahead and sit anytime now. 19 out of 55 campfires. Dude, we've still got like 47,000 to go if my math is correct. So, basically, if we turn around that way... Actually, I do want to see what we have in here. we got four of those guys, so we do need to find a boss still. That's fine. But we are getting... go. Go north and make it to the snow. It's freezing. I should craft some warmer gear. Ooh, we can now make a fur hat. Which means more hides that we don't have. Ooh, and a hot water bottle. Okay. So we might be able to manage a hot water bottle. Uh, that seems like a bad idea. Okay. Um. Ow. Oof, buddy. You gotta, like, turn around to attack it. That's very annoying. Why can't I just swing in front of me and have my blade magically swing behind him? Where's, where's I don't know, Tensor or uh, Fistandantilus or Mordenkainen? Where's Mordenkainen when you need him? I got there eventually. It just took a minute. So the fur hat's gonna be hides we don't have. I know. And this is gonna be rubber and plastics we do have. Great. So we'll take all those things, and then that should let us switch out our inventory. We'll go with the hot water bottle. And we are now good to go travel through an area in which you die in like one or two hits due to very mean dogs. Hey, 8,000 experience. That'll be enough for a level up. Ah, oh, crap, it's not. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Look at this. It's just like a sliver. It's a nose hair to go. Ugh, good grief. All right, let's go find another dog, I guess. Hey, dog, have you respawned? We need the hides anyway. There you are. Okay, can I sneak up on you? Because that would, that would make my life better if I could. Excellent. Level 16, let's go take a sit. Ooh, laces. That'll help keep our shoes on. And a rabbit's foot. Poor rabbit. Okay, let's take a sit. See what we got. Uh, fast learner, scavenger, and let's take fighter. Since we don't seem to be finding a ranged weapon anytime soon. Well, crap, we might as well take the additional damage in melee. So, crafting materials, plastics, and hides. Evade chance, plus 7%. That sounds spectacular. Laces. Packing up items is more efficient. Material carry slots, plus one. Um... It's going to be a trinket, right? Um, I mean, I, I, you know what? Sure. The more of these things we make, the more slots we get. So um, I don't know that we have... Yeah, we need to make another few of these. What are we even using right now? Running speed? I don't want to lose that. Max health. Well, whatever. We'll use it eventually. Maybe, possibly, probably not. I don't know. Let's go ahead and go back up to the north because I just want to take a quick look to see... If there's anything else around here. I'm going to guess that if we're going north and south, those are your hot and your cold, and maybe east and west. There's ooh, not too much to worry about, I don't know. Yeah, I see you sniffing. Okay. Okay, you guys. I need to be ready for your attack. That's the problem. I'm not. I haven't learned your attack patterns yet. 
I understand why they're giving you so many hides over here, though. I mean, they're basically rewarding you for going into this area with some of the materials you're going to want for a variety of upgrades. Never mind, just, you know, for getting around in here in general. I'm good with that. I'm okay with that. Um, it's blocked, which I know we can just go through, and that's usually my solution. But I kind of wanted to maybe get a feel for what's around before I do that. Ah, excellent. That little upgrade. Ooh, it's even colder there. Okay. So that's going to be a thing, is we really do need to have that fur hat and all that sort of jazz if we want to keep going through here, I, I believe. Which, I mean, it's fine. It is what it is. But it just means i got to go farm more of these dogs so we can grab a bunch of hides. And then we'll be fine. Let's go and grab some rubber out of this guy, since we basically blew through all of it. Hey, look at that. More. Even better. Bonk! Oh, yeah! Oh, you two? Yeah, take that. Perfect. I am A-OK -okay with being back to one power swing to get rid of all of our friends. All of our nemesis. This is going to be a small settlement someday. Well, it's not anymore. Here, let's sneak up on this guy. And I realize this is kind of risking big boy over there, but that's fine. We're okay. We're going to chop up this guy just so we can grab some more wood. And I'm kind of curious if we keep going this direction. Like maybe if we just keep going to the north and we're not going to the east, it won't get super cold. Although it did look like, no, this is going to be a stopping point. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I mean, this is this is useful information at the very least. What do we got over there? There's the tower. So I think what I want to do is maybe we'll just back off a little bit. We'll call this one good here, especially because I just ran past another dog. We don't have any potatoes. We don't have any mushrooms. Well, dang, I mean, we do have those, those things, just not on us. We'll pick up on the next one as we uh, gather some mushrooms, I guess. White mushrooms. Gross. I mean, red's not any better, nor is yellow or brown. They're all gross. Catch that one, Tolan. Thanks for watching. See you later.